So you've got your first balloon twisting kit. I'm so excited for you because you are about to discover the most amazing art form. There are a few things you need to know before you start twisting. So I'm going to help you get started by showing you the basics while demonstrating how to make these three balloon models, a balloon sword, a very easy balloon dog, and a balloon flower. So let's get started straight away. Let me introduce myself. I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. In your twisting kit, you should have some of these long, thin balloons, and you usually get balloons that are called 260s. And that is because when they are fully inflated, they are two inches in diameter and 60 inches long. So you should have some of these long, thin balloons. You should have a balloon hand pump, something like this. If yours is quite a bit smaller than this, then you're probably going to have to work quite a bit harder to inflate your 260 twisting balloons. And possibly not in your kit, but I like to have a pair of scissors handy, just in case. And I like these um, safety scissors with the round ends. So these are the ones that I use every day. And if you've got an instruction book with your kit, that's great. It's probably a good idea to put that to one side and it may make more sense to you once you've gone through this video. To inflate your twisting balloons, I always recommend using a hand pump. And I like this Qualitex hand pump. By the way, I will leave links in the description below to all the equipment and products that I'm using, the balloons that I'm using, because at some point you will need to uh, get more balloons. To inflate the balloons, you just need to put the 260 onto the hand pump and then start to inflate. Okay, so for this particular balloon animal, balloon sword, I've inflated right to the end of the balloon. We don't do that with everything, but for this design I have. And then I'm just going to let a little bit of air out here because quite often you will find that the balloon bulges at the beginning of the balloon here when you inflate it compared to down here. So if you don't let a little bit of air out there, you can risk the balloon popping. Okay, so then just tie a knot in your balloon. So that's what we've got. So I'm going to show you how to make a sword. So this is going to be a pirate sword. So take hold of the nozzle and knot. And when we're twisting, when we're doing balloon modeling, we always start at the knot end. So we don't start at the tip end, we start where the knot and nozzle is. So just pinch hold of that and bend your balloon over, okay? And then grab hold of this section here and just twist it round several times. I'm keeping hold of that knot and nozzle and then I'm going to pass that knot and nozzle through that loop because that's going to help ensure that that loop doesn't come undone if anyone shakes it. Okay, so this is what you've got. And then all you need to do now is just pass the rest of the balloon through that loop and you've got a fabulous pirate sword. Okay, so how easy was that? You've made your first balloon animal. Congratulations, your first balloon model. Let's go on to make a balloon dog. For your balloon dog, inflate the balloon in the same way, but we want to leave a little bit at the end, okay? So I've inflated to a tail of a couple of fingers, okay? You can see the balloon bulging here a little bit, so I'm just going to let a little bit of air out just to soften that, okay? So that's just reducing the risk of the balloon popping when we're twisting it. Okay, so that's what you've got. So again, start at the knot end, and you only need to make three twists to make this balloon dog. So let me show you. So we're going to bend the balloon over as we did before, okay? And grasp the balloon here and twist. So twist that round quite a few times, okay? So you can already see we've got the dog's nose and we've got the dog's ears, okay? Give your balloon a bit of a squeeze because what we're going to do is we're sending the air into the tip here, okay? That's going to keep your balloon soft. And then what we're going to do is just bend the balloon over here, okay? Pinch the hold of the balloon here and twist. And again, twist several times. Okay, 
So you can see we've got the dog's neck now and we've got the dog's legs. Okay, so pinch hold of your balloon here, bend the balloon over and pinch here and twist several times. And there's your balloon dog. How easy was that? Now, if you're enjoying this video, I'd be so grateful if you would like the video and subscribe to my channel. I bring out balloon tutorials every week and I've got lots more tutorials on my channel. I've, in fact, I've got a whole series on my YouTube channel, a 10 part series for balloon twisting for beginners. So if you want to go beyond this initial video, then I leave links in the description below to where you can find my 10 part balloon twisting for beginners series. And that will teach you everything you need to know to become proficient as a balloon twister. For this balloon flower, I'm going to use two balloons. Okay, so inflate your first balloon pretty much all the way. Okay, so I've just got a little tip at the end of a finger or so. Again, it's bulging here a little bit. So let out some of the air until it starts to feel a little bit soft there, but not too soft, okay? It's, it is a judgment call. Uh, and the more you twist and the more you use your balloons, the more you will get used to judging um, how much air you need to put in and how much air you need to let out, okay? So just take hold of the tip, take hold of that knot and nozzle and tie those two together, okay? So this is what you've got. Give your balloon a little squeeze just to send some of the air to the end here. And then take hold of your balloon and we're going to split this balloon approximately in half. It's, it's not going to be exact, but it's close. So you've folded your balloon over and then here, just pinch hold of this part here. And then I want you with your other hand just to rotate the top section okay and that will split that balloon approximately in half it creates a little sort of seam here so then what you want to do is push these two sections together and then twist this around and pass one loop through the other because again that's going to help ensure that that doesn't come undone okay this section folded in half again it's approximately in half Pinch hold here, and this time we're just going to push these two sections together and then twist that loop, okay? And then again, pass one of the loops through the bigger loop so that these loops don't come undone, okay? And then with this section here, again, fold it in half, okay? Pinch hold here, and then you'll see your pinching hold, and just push that through here, push it together, and wrap those loops around one another. Okay, so you've got your flower head, your flower petals. Inflate a green 260. Okay, and I've inflated that all the way, so it's right to the end. Let a little bit of air out just to soften and tie. And in my beginner series, I show you in detail how to tie the balloons. So if you want to know my technique for tying, then watch that series. So go to the tip end of your balloon and just make a little bubble, okay? There we go. So we just squeeze that there and then you can pass that, that little seam, just pull it into those loops there and then pass the rest of that balloon round. Okay, and there you've got your first flower. So you can position your stem this way, coming down in between two of the flower petals, or you can have your stem coming out of the back here and just bend over the balloon here, give it a little wiggle, and that's just going to put a little 
bend in the balloon and so your flower head will point forwards. Congratulations, you've learned how to make your first three balloon animals. I do hope you'll check out my balloon twisting for beginners series with links in the description below. It's on my YouTube channel and that will guide you through your balloon journey, getting to grips with more balloon models, more balloon animals. And I have one final tip for you and it's a very important one. Latex balloons are biodegradable. So when they are exposed to sunlight, when they are exposed to air, they start the process of biodegrading. So if you just put your balloons to one side if you've got balloons loose like this and you just put them to one side uh, and leave them for a few days or for a few weeks then when you need them next time when you want to use them there is a good chance that they will have already started to biodegrade and you will get quite a bit of popping so what i recommend you do is that you put these balloons into a ziploc bag and that you put that bag you seal it so that you take the air out you seal that bag and then you put that bag in the dark somewhere you put it in a drawer you put it in a cupboard so that when you want to use your balloons next time they should be absolutely fine to use and you shouldn't have, have any problems that way so I'm so excited for you. You've started your balloon journey. You've taken the first steps. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.